Okay, ladies and gents, um, I've received a request for a video just showing how to access your SkyGo account while you're abroad. Now, the problem with Sky, with Netflix, with Amazon, is they are geo-locked. So that means if you're outside of the UK, they will generally not work. So you have to trick the service into believing you are in a and in the country where the service is available. So in this case, the UK. Now, Netflix have taken action against this. So please be a judge of the legality of it yourself and the impact on your own service. This video is merely demonstration purposes only. You can choose whether to uh, to do, well, you can do whatever you want with it. Unfortunately, I can't be responsible for any actions or any implications of your, your actions moving forward. So, Without further ado, let me show you how to firstly create a a virtual location. And the way we do that is using something known as a virtual private network, uh, commonly known as a VPN. And what this essentially does is it creates a tunnel to a specific location. That could be within the UK, it could be within America, it could be in Tokyo, it could be anywhere. As long as it's got a a server set up that allows remote connections in and it's been configured correctly you effectively create what's known as a proxy server and it will allow you to spoof um, the location essentially you are connecting to a UK machine and therefore Sky looks at your IP sees it's a UK based IP and allows you to connect to the service there are privacy concerns with doing this obviously you're putting traffic your traffic through somebody else's servers so what i would encourage you to uh, use caution when using this method however i've used anchor free many times in the past and their product called hotspot shield to achieve this and i haven't yet had any problems so like i said the way you do this is using a vpn i've chosen to use hotspot shield now let's load that up and i'll show you what it looks like so hotspot shield so what it'll go and do now is it'll just look for a connection um, and it'll sign me in. You can see there it's bought up my dashboard. Um, I've actually paid for this service, it's £20 a year, but I mean, I've got my use out of it, no problems at all. In fact, actually it's gone up to $29.95 per year. So I think it works at about £22, something like that, there or thereabouts. It works across your different devices. I happen to have two... Um, OS X machines and a Nexus 7 running uh, running the applications you can download them from all the app stores and also the Windows there's a Windows application and a, a Mac application as well um, and what once this connects and uh, sees that you've got a valid elite subscription and that that's key you do need to pay for this particular service in order to do this um, you you are presented with a US um, location. Now for Sky, this will be no good. Um, Sky, as far as I'm aware, Sky doesn't work in the US and they don't have any presence there. Um, or certainly not in the Sky form anyway and, and Sky Go doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> Netflix is another matter, although from what I understand recently they've cut people off um, from being able to use um, VPNs. Uh, you may find Sky will do this at some point but as it currently work as it currently stands rather it works fine so now you're logged in as an elite subscription holder and you pay your money what essentially the elite subscription gives you is uh, besides having multiple devices allowed on it you also get the ability to change your location the default is the us i believe they're a us company so they'll have servers over there but what you can do, now, you, now you're an elite subscription holder, you can change it to any one of those locations there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. Um, for the purposes of Sky, you want to be selecting the United Kingdom, which is just there. It will sign out and sign back into a VPN. And it will give you now, as you can see in the location tab, a United Kingdom IP address. I'm based in the UK, so I already have a, a, an IP address based in the UK. But for demonstration purposes let me show you now i'm using chrome here to log in uh, to my it's my default browser on my mac and um, on all my devices actually um 
Unfortunately, Sky have recently implemented a policy whereby Chrome is no longer supported by Sky Go. Um, that I think the reason is it you can cast Sky Go content to your, your TV using a Chromecast, and Sky, being as controlling as they are of their revenue streams, they have decided that that's not acceptable, and they've pulled support for Chrome. That's my opinion, and please take it as that. There's, I don't believe there's been an official word from Sky as to the reasoning behind this, but you're going to have to use Safari in order to, for you to um, to view the uh, to view the content. Or, or Internet Explorer would work fine. I just don't think it's very good. Okay, so you can see I've logged into my Sky account here um, via this VPN, and we'll just go and play this. I mean, um, I think it's Storage Hunters that's going to play. And there you go. You can see. Let me just turn the volume down there. You can see it's it's basically playing a live stream from from Sky. You know, um, it 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 can be a little bit slower than potentially you're used to, just because it's got to go through someone else's servers. Um, but you can switch to full screen. Um, and turn the volume up, I won't do it on here because you'll hear it through my speakers, but you can turn the volume right up and then follow the same procedure I showed you in my other video which I'll, I'll link in the description below and put an annotation so that you are able to then go ahead and watch that through your Apple TV on your on your big screen TV downstairs. Now, like I said, the quality of the image and also the speed of the connection is likely to be lower just simply because you're going through a third party server. And, a th and, a, and a kind of a final note on that, you are putting your data through a third party server. So please be aware that privacy may be a concern. I haven't had any problems personally with Anchor Freight and their products. However, you know, there are other solutions out there and I can't personally comment on the reputability of any of the solutions available. I, all I can say is it works fine for me. Okay, so as, as you've seen, essentially what you're doing is creating a virtual network, a connection to the UK, and then serving up a basically an IP, which, which will fool Sky into believing you're in the UK. Um, I haven't personally used this abroad, um, but the principle works fine. Um, what I would advise, if you have any specific technical questions around um, Anchor Free uh, and their Hotspot Shield uh, application, then please speak to them directly. I'm not an expert in, in their particular application. The principles behind it are a standard VPN technology, so if you're into IT, it will make sense to you. Well, if you, don't have, any, if you have any further questions, please ask me in the comments below. Um, I want to be putting this up. Um, link to my other video so you can see it not no problem if you could put a like put any comments that you feel will be relevant put a dislike if you think it's not good and put some suggestions how I can make it better um, and I think that'll just about do it for this video just things to remember it's a VPN network it creates an IP in the UK and unfortunately most of the, subscri most of the services that you need to do this are subscription based so please before you spend the money make sure that you're happy maybe go through a trial before you put any money down just to make sure you're happy with what you're getting and the quality that you'll get from the image and that'll just about do it guys thank you very much put a comment below any likes that you think will be uh, would be worthwhile put those in as well um, i've been adam smith thank you for your time bye